There is not much left of Gaza's Sal Shifa hospital, with widespread destruction everywhere. And now accusations of heinous war crimes are emerging. Among the hundreds of reported dead, decomposing bodies have been found in the compound after Israel's two-week siege. Witnesses say civilians were targeted indiscriminately. The most agonizing moment is when the Israeli soldiers shot dead civilian men before our own eyes. Some were shot dead, others were buried alive in ditches. Most of the dead bodies were bulldozed and buried by the Israelis. I saw many young men handcuffed and blindfolded, thrown in a ditch and buried with sand. We witnessed it all. It happened before our own eyes. In and around the medical facility, the stench of death is heavy. Burned bodies covered in sand, an apparent attempt, witnesses say, to bury any evidence along with the dead. I have personally witnessed victims handcuffed, blindfolded and buried in the hospital yard. In the emergency unit, we found dozens of dead bodies. All of them were handcuffed with their hands behind their backs. These are utter war crimes. They are unprecedented. We have never seen anything like this in any other war. Makeshift graves have become a common sight here. Israeli forces reportedly opened fire on patients and medical staff during the siege. The situation was indescribable. We found people against a wall covered in blood. Their bodies had been left for days. All their bodies had signs of decomposition. Thank God we were able to bury them, despite their state. Human rights groups are calling on the International Criminal Court to take action. It's quite disgraceful that until this very moment, the um, uh, prosecutor of the International Criminal Court still uh, drags his uh, his feet and not issuing arrest warrants. It's important to mention the reason that we have uh, such disregard of international law and h- human uh, life in the Gaza Strip is the impunity that Israel has enjoyed and its military has enjoyed for, for decades. Israel said its operations at al-Shifa compound were carried out while preventing harm to civilians. But witnesses have described the opposite. Under snipers and Israeli tanks, we evacuated. We came back hoping to find my belongings. I have nothing left. My house was bombed and everything is gone. Not too long ago, the al-Shifa hospital compound was a refuge for displaced Palestinians. Now it's part of a wider investigation into Israeli war crimes in Gaza. Katia Lopez Odoyan, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.